Bastien Joseph, Port-au-Prince. What business do Templars have there? Captain! More French vessels at our tail! Too many! We'll retreat through the storm! We will be smashed ashore! A worse fate awaits if we let this land in Templar hands! Aye, Captain! Nothing to offer but thanks. Nothing else is needed. As a boy, I fled the same fate. Why would you risk recapture? Men of principle know the bigger risk is to turn away. I'm looking for Bastien Joseph. Do you know her? Moi même. Pas qu'on elle. But any fine gentleman may lead you to her. Too late for this one. Find another in town. The thanks is now mine. Do you have a place of refuge? My family waits in the mountains. Demon, gemon. Et Dieu soit avec vous. Madame Joseph. Expecting a package. It. But not you. Where's l'admiral? I see. And do you mean for me to meet the same fate? Look around. One threat, and these men will end you. I bring no threat. Tell me, how do the Templars allow you to carry on like this? <laughs> I am only the messenger. But before you judge, remember, the Templars coin like any will buy the freedom of men like you. I know this, Mark. You know nothing. You have the brand of a slave. The eloquence of a scholar. Hands of a sailor. And an assassin's hood. Few weapons. I think the storm stranded you. What do you need? A ship? Shelter? These things can be had for the price of this parcel. I need nothing I can't win for myself. But prove that what you promise is true. And perhaps something can be arranged. Is this your game? Very well. Then you will do me a favor. Augustin Dufort is a very secretive man. 
First find his plantation contact, and give him this message from the Gouverneur. Augustin will give you all the proof you need. Repeat this password. Sili patutu krabla va manje. Sili patutu krabla va manje. Pas mal. A convincing baraton. Now I suggest you leave before my admirers get suspicious. Do not let them escape the river. Augustine, do you fall? <laughs> Blandi sans fait. Bon Dieu fait sans dit. The French governor is two faced. Bastien helps as she can, but Marron independence is long to build. <sighs> Longer now. A warrior like you would be a great asset to our cause. With due respect, I serve a different brotherhood and I'm honor bound to return as soon as I find the means. But only the Iowa know when that will be. Meantime, I have sanctuary and weapons to share. Perhaps our needs may align for a time. What do you need? Recruits, liberated slaves. The warriors among them join me. The others grow the community for which we fight. Titafti, Wazo Fesoni. I suppose I might lend a hand for a time. Petit Bashi. I will see that you are rewarded for whatever you can give. Best begin soon. There's much to do. Every day, more slaves arrive. Human cargo makes for lucrative trade. I once hoped men of education could be made to see the cost. The profit makes them ignorant. With the right vessel, you could intercept the slave ships before they arrive. Or you would be free to leave. You have already paid more than your share to the Mahon Saint Domain, and I am the master. I cannot choose for you. This brigantine could meet your needs if you could relieve it of its crew. Bastien has volunteered her woman to draw the men away. Or you could set this tower light to distract them. Excellent options, all of them. What's this? Firecrackers. Some of your recruits salvaged them. It's only right that you should use them. Excellent. Once you send me a signal, I will send our men to join you. Monsieur Adwelly, the Mayon cause has made an ally of you. Augustin speaks highly of your help. I do not know how much longer I'll be able to continue, but the Maroons are outstanding warriors. Augustine has provided me with everything I might need to get by until I return to my brothers. 
I believe you owe me a parcel then. Let me hold it a while longer, for safekeeping. You are not a man of your word. My word was perhaps. It stands. How little you must think of me. On the contrary, you have maintained your freedom among the French by the deft handling of your indispensable business. I respect you highly. What would be a fool to trust anyone so clever so soon? What a keen eye and sweet tongue you have. Since you cannot provide me with the one thing I truly desire, I hope to compel you to demonstrate some respect by some other means. I would consider it. I need a careful and observant man to investigate the Gouverneur. I must know what distracts him and why he enforces the Code Noir ever more strictly. The lives of the slaves depend on it. I share your curiosity. I'll pay you this favor for the slaves. Perhaps there is some honor in you yet. You will need a disguise. Please, change into these. Here they come. Join the line. Be careful. <gasps> What's going on back there? Fall in line! Alors, what have you learned? The governor is overconfident. Despite his guard, I could have ended him with my bare hands. He would have deserved it. What makes you believe you need him? I keep my friends close, and my enemies closer. Which camp are you in? Will you tell me what you have learned? Who distracts him? A bold-faced scientist, Godin, hounds the governor for funds. Something about an expedition, navigational secrets. Why is this the first time I hear of him? Is my whole network turned against me? Does the harbor master think I give him my best girls out of kindness? Do you wish me to investigate further? I admit, as a man of the sea, the science of navigation intrigues me. No. Yes. I don't know. As you wish, but leave me, I must think. Bastien, I fear we lost you to the bitterness of depression. Never. Those arrogant men cannot cut me out of my own network. The cost is too great for the slaves. And for your pride. What does it matter, so long as I work for their freedom? Whatever has inspired it, I'm glad to hear the fight back in your voice. How can I help? The scientist, Gouda. What is his full purpose here? Can you find that out? Whatever secrets he carries, I will uncover. Start with the harbor master. He sees everyone who comes and goes. He should have kept me informed. Alors, what did you find? An opportunity beyond imagination. These scientists aim to record navigational secrets for our beloved kings to use at war. But we can seize them to extraordinary advantage for my brotherhood and the Maroon. We need only supply literate recruits, and the rest will take care of itself. That is all. Nothing more on the governor. That is all? <laughs> that is everything! How many more could be freed with this knowledge in our hands? All things require balance, Adewale. To achieve independence, the Mayon require stability. 
and immunity and information. And that's always been my role. What now? That is what I thought. The storm brought you in, and you will leave on the tempest of opportunity and imagination. And I will be left here to do what I can. Powerless. No, any day now the Maroons will rise up. Then I will leave, not before I've decided. You are as arrogant as the French. Bria, all of you. That is all you are. Bastien? No, go now. Adewale, your ambition still gives me pause, but I promised Auguste my help. What's this? The Forge Manifest, or so I am told. One of your famous recruits wrote it. Joaquin Francois, Henri Marchand, Fortuné Jean. Good. I'm sure you will serve the expedition well. Louis Godin will meet with the harbor master to arrange the remaining affairs of your expeditionary voyage. You may take the opportunity to switch the manifest. At your signal, we will be ready to board. Thank you. And thank you, Bastien. Anything for the Marron of Saint Domingue. to the bone. Ade, Auguste has learned of another slave ship to intercept. I beg you to reconsider. Special orders from your sometimes confidant, the governor. No, it is as I feared. With all the slaves you have freed, the French are in panic. Let the French live in the fear they earned. It is not so simple. Curfews are strict. Punishments are harsher and more frequent. You help the ones you freed, but at what cost to the ones you can't? A small price for independence. The sooner Augustine's revolution comes, the sooner all slaves will live in peace as free people. Gouverneur de Fayette threatens retaliation. And he is behind this. No, Adwali. Not another word. I don't want to hear it. No! They'll sink the ship! I thought I understood his indifference. I did not anticipate the extent of his heartlessness. You tried to warn me. We are all guilty. A governor will pay with his own life. My creed demands that I see to it. Revenge is cold comfort. Once the fire is gone. Another tyrant will take his place. His death must give this generation of warriors hope. 
They must not abandon the goal of independence. And the death of these souls? So, they lead new life. We will always mourn them. I believe it is time. The governor grows complacent. His guards lazy. They have already forgotten the terror they wrought. I will remind them. Once you have removed the fire, you will no longer be safe here. Nor will the Maroons be if I stay. It will bring me sadness to see you go. We will meet again to celebrate Maroon independence. You know well the grounds of the governor's residence. Choose your moment. Do not get caught. They hide the ghost ship. Brothers, they did not survive the journey here. I will personally find and kill every last one of you until I find my answer. Where is the hideout of the Maroons? Help! <laughs> who will come to your rescue? Your slaves? The overseers who follow your orders? Pathetic. What kind of man does not fight for himself? Why? <laughs> I have killed many men on principle, but never have I wanted one to suffer as much as you. To understand what it is to gasp and beg for your life, like the innocents you drowned. You mean those slaves? That ship? But they are not even human. Without the discipline and guidance of their masters, they turn to rebellion. Murder. <laughs> Like you. I only wish that were true. It is done. He suffered badly. I made sure of it. Have you come to say goodbye? For now. But not without giving you this. Oh. After all this time, he lost interest. You're not worried it will fall into Templar's hands? I fear worse things now. No Templar plot can equal your wrath. <laughs> you tried to make light. At a time like this? Only to lighten my sorrow at leaving. You will return to your brotherhood of assassins. And whatever duty they assign you. I will return, yes. But I feel a tide changing within me. I'm no longer young. I must devote my energy to those who struggle for freedom. I will use my conviction in my creed to defend them alongside anyone who will help me. I have no one left to sell this to. I will keep it for memory. <laughs>